welcome Enda Coleman today. I'm Debbie Wood along with Jessica McBrayer, who is our coach, um, the ladies basketball coach down at Wallace State, the Lady Lions, and just so good to see you. I've Thank heard you, wonderful baby. things about you, Coach. Thank you. Um, you, you know, when she walked in this morning, folks, I said, wow, you're just a kid. <laughs> and you really are young, but uh, what, a, what an advantage to be young and to do what you do. Yes, it makes it a lot more entertaining you know we work every day with 18 and 19 year old girls and the age gap's not too far apart right. where we kind of get each other there's sure. still a little line there but it's easier to relate to them right now absolutely and you've got the energy too that it takes to deal with those those <laughs> you young say girls that, but I, by the end of the season Sometimes, i'm done they wear me out they I, really do i bet but i've heard such great things about you being such a good mentor to them and we're going to talk a little bit more about that in more detail in a little bit, but let's talk about you. Now, you went to school at Hartzell. Your family's from Hartzell. Yes, ma'am. And how did, of course, you've always played basketball. Is that correct? Yes. Since what age? Since seven years old. Really? Yes. So many times, I find that fascinating because um, so many times when you start early like that on a sport, you sort of burn out and you don't want to sure. do it anymore. You know, and I say that with my kids all the time playing sports. I don't try to push them to do anything, but sure. I started when I was seven and played it through college. Right. and. It's kind of been neat coming full circle back to Wallace now to coach, so it just kind of never left me. So I tell my parents all the time, they were right when they knew this was my passion because here I am 30 years into it. Isn't that something? And I know they have to be so proud. Sure. Because it took a lot of commitment for them to take you to those oh, practices yes. every it's day. All, my parents, I owe most of it to my parents. To your parents. Yes, Isn't absolutely. That wonderful? Well, um, so you finished at Hartzell, yes, and then immediately you started to, to uh, Wallace, is that yes. correct? Yes, I came to Wallace, um, earned a scholarship, Larry Slater, I was part of the Slater era, so. um, played there for two years, Okay. had every intention of playing basketball two more years, and I met my husband while I was here in Coleman, and he was from here, and he had a little four-year-old girl, so we decided just to go ahead and start our family, so we got married stayed here, uh, had another little girl. Oh. And so we just kind of started building our family um, very quickly. Very quickly. Right after Wallace, yes. See, that's wonderful. And then I understand that after you had your baby, the this, this second baby, you um, decided that um, it really was in your heart and you wanted to go back. Tell us about that. So when I, when we got married, I started my education at Athens State Online, but really couldn't figure out what I want to do because I fell in love with staying home with my babies sure. and I no longer really wanted to go to work every day. I liked the idea of staying at home. Sure. But my assistant coach when I played at Wall State, Ron Burdett, called me and he had now been the head coach and asked if I want to be an assistant. And I was like, well, I do if it's not going to take too much time away sure. from the family. And he's like, oh, you know, you'll be fine. Well, as soon as I started, I remembered why I wanted to be a, a coach. It all came back. And so I went back online and finished up my degree at Athens State because I knew Wonderful. I would need a degree mm -hmm. um, if I wanted to continue coaching in college. And then Stayed an assistant for a few years, got the interim job, and then was hired this past summer as head coach. See, in June of 2018, yes. um, you were. It was announced that Jessica was the new uh, coach there, and I think that's fabulous. And you haven't regretted it at all. No, it's been wonderful, and it's such a a great level to coach. Mm -hmm. My husband and my kids get to come to every single ball game. See. You know, they get to be involved and be around in the gym, and it's mm -hmm. just. And I'm lucky to be at a school that allows that kind of family atmosphere. Oh, absolutely. And so it's just been wonderful. And encourages us. it, don't Yes, they, they do. It. Absolutely. So it's just See, it's that's wonderful. wonderful. So um, just proud to have, have you there at Wallace State. I think it's wonderful. And I know the students are too, the girls. Now, do you also teach something or does this just take up all your time? I do not. This you actually not. takes up all my time. I, bet it um, does. I help with recruitment, mm -hmm. um, taking some campus tours, doing things here and there. But yes. Coaching is a full-time job. People just don't even realize don't, it. Mm -hmm. um, it is definitely a full-time job. And between the team and traveling and recruiting and everything, they just suck up all that attention sure from Sure they you. do. Yes. And, and, of course, like we said earlier, being such a good mentor, folks, um, she might get a phone call in the middle of the night yeah. or whatever. You've got to be there for those, yes. for those girls. Yes, I always laugh and I talk about 18, <laughs> 19-year-olds are so needy. You yes. know, you'll get a text at midnight. Uh -huh. You know, my head hurts. I'm a little sniffly. What should I do? You right. know, you turn into, you're not just coach. You're, you're mama, their mom and everything. You are a friend, friend. You are a mentor. You are a counselor. Your sister. Yes. Whatever it You takes. are everything. See, that's so wonderful. Yes. Well, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to be talking uh, to Coach McBrayer about uh, a little bit more in depth about that, some of her responsibilities, and the fact that folks 
two years, within a two-year period, actually less than two years, she has to start trying to recruit new sophomores, and that's a big job. So stay with us. We'll be back with more Pullman in the Morning right after this. When I started here at Wallace, I knew that it was going to be a great step for me, um, starting my career, starting my future. I want to go into law enforcement. I know I'm going to start off locally, and if things work out correctly, I want to work my way up to a federal level. I applied for the Coleman County Sheriff's Department scholarship. You know, was hoping for the best. When I found out I got it, I was pretty excited because criminal justice is kind of like a thing that my brother and I are really excited to go into. Without the Coleman County Sheriff's Scholarship, I probably wouldn't be able to come to school this year because financially I wouldn't be able to afford it, so it's really been a big help for me. Receiving this Coleman County Sheriff's Scholarship has been not only big for me in this school year, but it's been uh, big for me moving forward in my career, progressing to be better, and I definitely know that my future will start here at Wallace. I'm Pat Moody with the Mortgage Center. Over the past 16 years, we've helped thousands of Coleman County residents with their mortgage needs. During these challenging times, we still stand ready to help the people of Coleman County with their mortgage needs. With rates at record lows, there is no better time to buy or refinance your existing mortgage. Let's work together in these difficult times to make it better. The Mortgage Center. And welcome back into Coleman in the Morning. With us today, Coach Jessica McBrayer from Wallace State. She is the coach for the Lady Lions at Wallace. And of course, we're so glad to, to have you with us today. Yes, and uh, it. Yeah, I've just heard such good things about you. And let's talk a little bit more in depth. In or the first segment, we were talking about how what a big responsibility it is for your girls. I understand that your entire team is from Alabama this year. Yes. That is not typical. That is not. We actually have a whole roster from Alabama except for one. She's from Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. But typically we're from everywhere. Last year we had people from New Orleans, Detroit, Michigan, two from Tennessee, very spread out. I love um, it. But it is always exciting when you can kind of keep it within the state, being sure. able to find talent and good kids mm -hmm. uh, locally for a community college. Sure. So, yes, this year's a little bit different. We don't have too many far off, but yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun. Now, you have to start um, in less than two years. Once they sign up for, uh, to start and they're playing, uh, of course, you have to go through all the auditions and all that, I guess, sure, you know, yes. to do that and pick them. But when do you start and what do you do in order to find new recruits? Because uh, you have to go from, what, eight to nine Absolutely. each year? So every year we have a between 14 and 15 kids on you our do? team. Okay. So you usually have six or seven or eight sophomores at a time. So when they graduate, you got to go immediately find those. So we always work about a year or two ahead. You do? So, for instance, this year we've been recruiting kids for 2019, but we're okay. also already looking for 2020 kids. Oh, wow. That way it's not – you're not coming in late because it's a constant – it's continual. It is, you're, isn't it? You're graduating, recruiting, graduating, recruiting. So when you're in the middle of your season, your mm -hmm. mind is in season and your mind is also towards next season because okay. you're always having to prepare for the next year. So, And, and I bet you love that part. I think I would fun. love that part. I always tell people recruiting is my favorite part, yes. getting to know kids and getting yes. to know their families. And yes. they're different when they're in high school and they come to you. Sure. you know, there's a little bit more just – friendship during the recruiting mm -hmm. process. So it's a lot of fun getting to meet these kids from all these different I areas. Yes. Now, do you actually go to them or do, the, do they send you tapes? It goes a little bit do? of both ways. Oh. You know, a lot of times it's coaches may call you. Okay. A lot of times kids or coaches will send us film. And if we sort of like it, we may go check them out. Sure. And sometimes it's just random. If I'm, if it's a Tuesday night, I may just go find a game to go and you just never know what you might find. Oh, see, that's yeah. a, that, that part would be so exciting it to is. know that that you're making such a difference in their life, and they're going to make a difference in Absolutely. yours and Wallace's life. Yes, so I they think that's do. Wonderful. Well, let's talk a little bit about uh, what you're doing this year. Your season okay. is still going strong. Yes, we're in the middle of our conference. Mm -hmm. We are currently 20 and four. We just broke into the top 25, that's ranked awesome. at 24. We are starting our second round of conference, and tonight's actually homecoming for us. Okay. Um, so we have Gadsden State coming in. We've got our Think Pink game. We're wearing pink for breast cancer awareness and. Right. 
girls are wearing pink uniforms. Love They're it. all excited. I bet. We're having homecoming, homecoming court. Then our guys will play at 730. So there's just a lot going on tonight. Right. Wonderful. But we have about a month left in our regular season in okay. our conference tournament, which is in Birmingham this year. It will okay. be our first week of March. So. First week of March. Yes. And how do you anticipate ending up? I mean, you're naturally, you, you know, been naturally one, we're going to win. Uh, you know, I told my girls, I'm a person who believes in speaking something into existence. Sure. If you don't speak it, how's it supposed to happen? Uh, so. Right. We kind of made a commitment together as a team. We had one goal this year, and it was to win conference. You sure. know, nothing else would do. So mm -hmm. we're looking to be a one or a two seed going into the tournament, and we're hoping to make some noise and head out to nationals. How exciting. And you you are such an encourager. I can see it in your, <laughs> you. in your face and in your heart. So and it takes that, that sure. encouragement, and, and to make everybody work hard. And, yes. and so we'll be expecting to hear from you sometime after the 1st of March. Yes. And maybe we'll... Um, Get you back in and, That'd be and awesome. recap. We'd we'll love that. Yeah, yes. I'd love to see you again. And thank you for being with us Absolutely. today. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, with us today, Coach Jessica McBrayer from Wallace State, the Lady Lions. They've got a great season going. And of course, thank you for tuning in today. And we hope you have a blessed day. And we'll see you tomorrow.